we're discussing landforms and we are starting with fluvial landforms. So there are four or five of them that you have to know. Now, one suggestion to you is, now landforms questions are generally asked in 10 marks. Uh, so you must write about one and a half page approximately, including the diagrams. Now, in landforms, I will suggest the format that you will use. Number one, okay, describe the landform. Whatever landform they ask you, describe it. Describe in two, three, four sentences. Like they ask you, write a note on meanders. So describe the meander. Meander is a zigzag course of a river flowing along the flat plains. The rivers have a convex and concave bends. Describe the river and describe the meander. Then number two, you talk about what is the agent. Agent and describe the process. When I'm saying process, don't just mention erosion or deposition. When we say process, I'm talking about explain the idea of uh, okay, what have the stages maybe. So wherever required, talk in the reference of stages, even if it is not typical fluvial model. Then in some landforms, there are types also. Like meanders, there are types. There are sinuous uh, rivers. Then there are, there are meander rivers at a later stage. They also from Oxbow Lakes. So talk about the types. And then, okay, along with types, you can talk about the associated features. Because whatever features are related to that particular landform. And finally, you could have a conclusion. Okay, conclusion you could relate with the human aspect. Either floods, hai, droughts, hai. the human aspects related to resources. Hai. Okay, maybe you can refer to a part of development. Some, some landforms are important aspects of development. Like say sand dunes. Sand dune stabilization is very important for controlling, okay, say desertification. You talk about a landform like lakes. Lakes are very important features of inland fisheries. So bring in some human aspect or some applied aspect where possible. So this is your format for any landform. Give or take one or two points may be removed. The, while describing, I'll suggest if you can compare this with some other landform, if there are some similarities. Sometimes there are two landforms that look very similar. Just in case somebody says, yes, incised meanders. Maybe they are very similar to what are entrenched meanders. Okay, they are very similar to ingrown meanders. So in description, add a bit of comparison wherever possible. Okay, so remember this format in any landform discussion. Okay, and this format I'm using now while discussing the landforms across the different agencies of denudation. So we are starting with the first landform, which is, okay, what are valleys and how are valleys formed? What are river valleys? What are river valleys? How are they formed? Okay, discuss the profile of the valleys. What are valleys? How are they formed? and discuss the profile of the valley. This is one question. Now, what are valleys? You can describe it. Describe it as V-shaped okay, depressions, which are elongated, which are part of the river course. The valleys are of different types. They can be tectonic, they can be a fluvial erosion, they can also be rift valleys, they can be because of glacial valleys. The river valleys typically are erosional and have V-shape. Okay, so what are valleys in one line? They are elongated depressions through which rivers can flow. River valleys can be different types. They can be tectonic, they can be fluvial origin because of river erosion. They can be rift valleys, they can be glacial valleys. Unlike, unlike tectonic and glacial valleys, river valleys are erosional and are V-shaped generally. How are they formed? The valleys are formed. The valleys are formed by two processes. Okay, we have got valley deepening and we have valley lengthening. Valley deepening and valley lengthening. Now, valley deepening as a process includes two things. One is the potholing and drilling. And also, okay, it includes lateral expansion. So potholing, drilling, what does that do? The valleys are becoming deeper. 
and lateral expansions the valley is becoming wider like okay, lateral expansion either because of erosion or because of undercutting i am almost giving you like answers okay what are your valleys how are they formed discuss the profile of the valleys okay so you started the answer by describing what is the valley there are tectonic valleys fluvial valleys rift valleys there are glacial valleys and unlike the others river valley is because of erosion it is having a typical v shape valley formation kaise hota hai how are they formed valley process includes valley deepening and valley lengthening valley deepening kaise hota hai one is pot holing and drilling the river with its stones and drilling agents will drill through and make the valley deeper and the valley also expands laterally lateral expansion lateral expansion is because of two reasons one is the side cutting the side cutting this part gets cut this part gets cut this side cutting is the lateral erosion and undercutting the river starts getting eroded on the bottom so after some time the side cutting probably looks like this so there is some cutting here there is some cutting here and the side cutting becomes more the side cutting becomes more eventually valley which was this now will slowly start looking like this then with time it becomes something like this and finally this one will collapse and the valley has now become a bit more broader like this so this is undercutting the cutting of the river valley along the bottom of the river so lateral expansion lateral expansion is cutting of the valley sides undercutting is cutting of the valley bottom laterally so how are the valleys formed so one is the valley deepening so this is part of valley deepening valley deepening includes okay step number one process and second process the second aspect is valley lengthening valley lengthening the valley now becomes longer valley lengthening is because or it's also called as stream lengthening now this is because of primarily because of okay headward erosion it can be because of river capture it can also be because of increasing okay surface runoff as the water surface runoff headward erosion i'm sure you know what headward erosion is okay this was the river the river starts cutting backwards along the head headward erosion if there is another river here and this goes and joins okay now this becomes the longer stream this also adds and sometimes it can also be because of increasing river runoff okay so you got more water the water can eventually add up and the river can become longer and the fourth reason is the sinuous channels or meandering the river starts taking left right zigzag paths the fourth reason the lengthening happens because of uh, sinuous channels rather than being a straight river it has now taken bends like this runoff se dono ho sakta hai runoff se wide bhi ho sakta hai runoff se long bhi ho sakta hai okay the source of the river if you got more runoff the length can also increase and length also because of your sinuous channels and proper meandering channels even this will increase the length of the river okay so this is just a 10 or 15 mark answer you just have to touch on the important points so how do the river valleys develop the valleys develop because of valley deepening they develop because of valley lengthening valley deepening includes two processes and valley lengthening includes four processes headward erosion river capture increase of surface runoff and also because of sinuous because of sinuous and meandering okay channels so these are the discussions on what is a river valley and how is it formed now a discussion on the river profile okay river profile ka matlab kya hota hai river profile basically means the the cross sectional the cross section of a river is river profile so there are two types of 
okay a river profiles one is one is the lateral and one is the longitudinal the lateral is across so if this is the river and you take a cross section along its course this is longitudinal if you take a cross section across this is lateral agar aap across kaatte ho it is lateral if you take along it's called as longitudinal the longitudinal profile is also called as thalvik i hope you know this the land longitudinal profile is also called as thalvik and we do not have a separate name for lateral lateral goes as lateral not a problem the lateral profile can be a steep v can be open v steep v or i shape profile this is for gorges this is for canyons and the open v it happens in the later okay mature stages mature and sinai stages okay the lateral profile can be a steep v or an i shaped valley which happens for gorges and canyons the open v is in the later stages so you can have a small sketch about what is a steep v and what's an open v and the longitudinal thalvik okay initially okay is irregular and then it becomes smoother it becomes graded in the mature phase it becomes smoother it becomes graded in the mature phase the thalvik almost becomes flat in the sinai stage it almost becomes flat in the sinai stage now while discussing this you can bring in the davis model discussions but not to elaborate you keep it short 3 4 5 lines mein the profile type and profile development is related to the stage of the river according to davis model so if you want if you have time if you can squeeze in a small table maybe you can do that what is the profile for a youthful river a mature river a senile river two three points two three points like youthful river it is a steep it is convex mature it is okay not as steep it is gentler gentler this is more straight profiles in a senile it is uh, flatter it is concave profile so talk in terms of davis model in two three words but make sure you do not do this too much why because sara mila ke 10 ya 15 point ka hoga and you can finally have a conclusion based on ki how uh, profiles can be modified by human activities so uh, slope slope changes changes in the runoff of the river okay a construction of dams all of this can change you can talk about how sand mining can also change the profile the consequence of which is the rivers now becomes vulnerable okay to breach the bank they become vulnerable to more floods and siltation downstream so applied aspect mein you end the answer so what are river valleys okay what are the processes impacting the valley formation and what are the river profiles the river profile ka matlab hota hai cross section you explain this so 10 15 marks mein that's good enough